Just, just, just strangers. Feedback loop sucks. Just, just strange. Have you ever woken up from a nightmare? Yeah, Disappointed I, that you woke up because you were enjoying the nightmare? Yeah, actually, last night I, I woke up in the bathroom. Dude, last night you woke up <laughs> and you did a show. <laughs> oh, that was oh, a yeah. that show. The show. A legendary show. The so, show must sir. go on. It, it didn't actually. At, at some point, the show At, at some happen. point, I just kind of fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say for the record that uh, I nailed it. I, I said, how much uh, more time before Bodie passed out? I said about three hours, 20 seconds. I don't know whether it was three minutes. I mean, three minutes, 20 seconds. I don't know whether it was three minutes or five minutes or two minutes, but it was darn close. It was darn close, and I have nothing to say for myself because... um <laughs> doing an invitation, ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and wrestling things and wrestling things, and ah. I can't hear you. And that is, yeah, uh, it, was, it was bad. I tried to fuck the microphone. Actually, you succeeded in that. I did succeed. Did my dick come out? No, no, but... Oh, that's uh, good. The, 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 the microphone is suing you for, uh, what is it, uh, alimony, alimony, whatever... <laughs> It definitely wants you to take care of the kids. <laughs> I just say that. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I played that last night. Yeah. I played that song last night. Yeah, that's good. That's I don't know how. I don't know who's watching, but whoever's watching, what do you guys think of my hair? My hairstyle. Your hairstyle is good. Working on a new do. You know, I I want to go for something that's a little bit more. Can I play video? Why can't I play the video? What are you talking about? streaming we're streaming right now and it says cannot play video well my thing's saying i cannot play video why can't you play video i want to see the comments why can't you see the i'm i'm, I'm, I'm going in which which uh i'm going th- in i'm going in facebook page is this uh the agora the agora the Agora. My reach has been pretty good this week. By the way, li- little known factoid that the Agora is named after a video game. Yeah, little known fact. No, it's little not. Little known factoid. No, it's right. named after the open market, the market of ideas. What are you talking about? You That's the name of a video of a, game. You son of a bitch. That's the name of the video game. Obi Ken Kenyoe says Far Out, Paul. Far they- Out, man. No man, I'm not going for far, far out, Ob. Hey, I'm going. This for... is a, this is a really loose show. It was supposed to start over an hour ago. It's not really a show. It's just a happening. Yeah, it's just a happening. Me and Paul are just sitting here. Well, welcome to the happening, by the way. He, did, he didn't get Pilates, so yeah. He turns, Rio, uh... he turns to me. Wow, I never turned to Bodhi for anything. Just just don't turn your back. No, and whatever you do, based on conversation the last night. Whatever you do, never message this man. Don't message me and don't message my girl and you'll be fine. <laughs> right. Don't message Do not message his girl. If she messages you, that's fine. But... That's fine. I can't do anything about that. That's just But but don't message his girl. So I'm I'm going for a job interview tomorrow and I really want to look presentable, so I let my hair grow out a little. Yeah, that's a good idea. I I chop my hair off actually. I didn't notice. You, have some, you did something different with your hair. You look the same to me. I don't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't even. So you. So you got a new do, huh? I did get a new do. I was. Uh, look, this internet connection problem. There's a problem with the internet. I saw that. The whole internet. With the whole internet. The whole internet. Bodie, you broke the internet again. I always break the internet. It's just the way things go. So, but, but yeah, I got really shit tanked last night. That was amazing. Yeah, you definitely got altered. You were uh, definitely in the altered category. I was, I was tilted. Altered. Altered. S- definitely altered, and I. Yeah. I've, from, but from I actually, my- I, I have a huge bruise on my hip from where I, I don't remember any of this. But apparently, I went to the bathroom, got all my pee in the toilet, which is a miracle in itself. But then somewhere along the ways, I fell, um, yeah. and I open it it, it. it opened up a shampoo bottle, and there's a bunch of shampoo that was just like laying on top of this little shelf thing. 
Uh, and I actually found my glasses in there too. Well, I woke up in a pile uh, on my pile of clothes in the bathroom. Yeah, most people they fall down drunk. They they wake up and they're on sick. And you you wake up. I and didn't. I didn't. I wasn't. Shampoo. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't puke. Like I was so happy. What are you gonna do when you when you go walk <sighs> to your your place of work tomorrow, which you don't have, but let's just pretend you have a place to work tomorrow, and you see a goat walking by, and the goat kind of gives you that sup look. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, you wonder what happened to that hip. And that goat would be like, so. Oh, well. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, then, you know, you're like a dog is walking by a dog gives you look, yeah, so. I saw that. That's not your animal. Here's my number. Right. Uh, Melissa's asking, what the fuck is on your head, Paul? Why are you making fun of my hair, Melissa? That's really mean. That's his new style. Rude! Rude! Seriously rude, man. Style. I don't even know what to talk about tonight. I grew this hair out, and I'm getting ready to go to a job interview tomorrow. Gonna, gonna get a 9-to-5 job. Yeah, you're gonna get a 9-to-5. Yeah, gonna yeah. get a 9-to-5 job. Actually, we got, I got two deliveries tomorrow. Oh, you got work to do tomorrow. I do have some stuff to do tomorrow. What do you What do you do with your deliveries? What exactly do you do? Um, we go to the warehouse. Oh my gosh, I'm already bored. Oh gosh. Oh, we pick gosh. up boxes, we put them in a truck, and then we drive to the location. We're talking boxes now. And we unload the box. I love boxes. You do you know? You a big box fan. I'm a big box fan. <laughs> box fan. <That's> nice. <laughs> I'm a big box fan. A big box. That's nice. Oh, you like big boxes. That's Wow, Jared French. It's nice. Takes away from the face a bit. Ah, oh, that's that's uh all oh, keep it classy, Jared. Keep it classy, man. Yeah. You know what? You can still still see this gorgeous. He doesn't even have a nose. Jared French doesn't even have a nose. That's true. That's objective fact what a actually. Fucking weirdo. Gosh. He's like he's like he's, he's got like a he's got like a nose mouth. You know what I mean? A a yeah. mouth. Is that a mouth? Dude has a mouth. Now, <laughs> it's a nose mouth. It's a mouth. Oh. I like it now. I really so, like it. Now. So is is France doomed? France is. Uh, I don't care. Me neither. I didn't pay attention. To France any of it. is a state of on state face coercive enterprise that deserves the doom it may or may not receive. But what it's about like, all the innocent people? What innocent people? To me, the ones yeah. that live in France. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 <laughs> I got to go for the Wendy O. Williams Mohawk look. Ooh. Uh, EU is doomed. Everyone's doomed. The whole Everyone's doomed. State of on state based world is doomed. How could you know? I, it's like, it's, uh, uh, you got one candidate who's saying, you know, I think that there should be even less people that should control the lives of more people. And another candidate saying, you know, I think that there should be, uh, uh, e- even lesser, lesser, lesser people, but they should co- they should control slightly lesser people. That's because in yeah. you know in Le Pen's it's like, hey man, a small group of people should control France, and uh, this guy's like, no, 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 a slightly larger group should control all of Europe. That's right. what you guys that, are that's really. That's fine. Uh, I mean, that's a great uh, people making decisions about things they have no business making decisions about. Yeah, that, that, that and it's. It's going to be the way. Uh, it's kind of like Trump here. Well, yeah, Donnie. Donnie's a man of one, controlling three hundred million lives. Well, not my life, because no, because I don't really care. I, could... I I actually care, but I don't care. I don't care enough. I think that's what it is. I don't care enough. But in the case of yeah. France, dude. In the case of France, what are we really gonna? If we lose France, what do we really lose? Who's we? Who's we? The world. We, we. We, we. The world, man. We, we lose Arthur Rambeau. Who's that? Oh, my gosh. You don't know who Arthur Rambeau is. Holy crap. Do I need How to... do you not know who Arthur Rambeau is? Do I need to the heck? Up? Are you not? You're, I thought you were a bit of a, a, I was, a culture I was, I was watching man. Bigfoot videos earlier. That's not Arthur Rambeau, man. Come on, does anybody in our student audience know who Arthur Rambeau is? Our, I want to know. Our student audience? 
Our studio audience, dude. It's my thing. All right, ready? Ready? Hold on. Are you guys ready? Poetry you hour. Ready? I got poetry hour. Do it. Okay, it's called The Drunken Boat. I should have read this yesterday. <laughs> Probably should have. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to read this whole poem. I'm going to just read a little bit of it here. As I was going down impassive rivers, I too no longer, I, I no longer felt myself guided by haulers. Yelping redskins had taken them as targets and had nailed them naked to colored stakes. I was indifferent to all crews, the bearer of Flemish wheat or English cottons, when with my haulers this uproar stopped. The rivers let me go where I wanted, into the furious lashing of the tides, more heedless than children, children's brains. The other winter I ran, and loosened the peninsulas have not undergone a more triumphant hubbub. The storm blessed my sea vigils. Lighter than a cork, I danced on the waves that are called eternal rollers of victims. Ten nights without missing the stupid eye of the lighthouses. Sweeter than the flesh of hard apples to the ch is, the ch is to children. The green water penetrated my hole of fur and washed me of spots of blue wine and vomit scattered. You said, you said, you said penetrated. I did say penetrated, but I was reading it in a poem, so it's clearly acceptable that I said penetrated because it's a poem. Not only is it a poem, it's a freaking French poem, dude. Although it was translated into English. Don't you know anything about Arthur Rambeau? Who? Now, see, if I was running the show right now, I would go and I would find a song called Ghetto Defendant. And it's by The Clash. And they sing about Arthur Rambeau in Ghetto Defendant. Ghetto Defender! Oh, well, oh, here we go. I got the window capture up. Oh, do you? Okay, so so try. Oh, you're never going to be able to sort through the Ghetto Defender and find a reference. Oh no, not... I was going to watch a Bigfoot video. Oh, that's well, that's probably more appropriate. Well, uh, uh, let me tell you the story of Arthur Rambeau, man. Do you want this... to? Do you want to watch a? Do you want to? Do you want to tell us the story while we uh, watch Bigfoot? Well, as long as you have Bigfoot muted and we can't hear him, can you mute him so we could just have him? That, don't don't put them over my face. My face is my I'm the eye candy of this show, son. All right, hold on. I don't care what your friends say. That's John's dad. <laughs> Tell me the story of not John Rambo, Arthur Rambo, Jared. Very very different Rambo. It's spelled R I M B A U D. So we're gonna have. Uh, you don't even have this uh, cropped or anything, man. No, no we're, we're just gonna look at Bigfoot. Okay, so while while Bigfoot plays, I'm gonna tell you the story of uh, Arthur Rambo and I. I it's I'll, put it right long... I'll put it right over your face. How's that? No, don't put it over my face. Okay. I'm off. Now it's on the TV. I'm watching it. I'm seeing. It's not over my face yet. It now shouldn't it be. Well, why'd you do that, man? Okay, it whatever. Looks, it looks just like you. Okay. All right. I'm I'm Bigfoot. Whoa. Be speaking right here. I'm Bigfoot speaking. So, so as you zoom in and you're looking for proof of Bigfoot's existence, me, uh, 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 as you stumble across me in the forest, I, I let you know a little bit about Arthur Rambeau. Oh, this is a countdown or something. Yeah. This is stupid. All right. Uh, Arthur Rambeau cool. was a precocious uh, French poet who... He was uh, really gifted in language. He knew like four or five languages by the time he was five. He knew Latin. He, he's a brilliant, brilliant dude. Starts writing poetry, I don't know, as soon as he could start writing. And he was, he came along at a time when poetry was, it was all rhymed. It was all in, in it all had set metered forms and, and, and it was all filled with classical references and he came along and he wrote in blank verse and he wrote uh, using the language of the street, the gutter. And, uh, you know, he's famous for writing poems that had fart references in them. Wow. And uh, he was done writing poetry. And I might not have this exact, but mm, 
no later than the age of 25 was he done with writing poetry. He stopped writing poetry. The, the bulk of his poetry is written between 17 and 22 or something like that, some ridiculous wow. age. But even though he wrote at this ridiculously young age, his body of work is primarily in that period of time, he's considered one of the greatest French poets of the 19th century, really one of the greatest poets of the 19th century period, one of the great innovators of French uh, of poetry in general because he broke these traditions. And uh, he was quite the wordsmith. And he walked away from it, and he went wow. to Africa. That's a big, big foot. And he walked all the way around Africa, and he died at the age of 36. Wow, just like Bigfoot. So there you go. That's the that's the very cliff notey version of uh, Are you Arthur. Seeing Bigfoot. this right here, I'm seeing it, and it's it's none of it's real. How do you know? Actually, the, my family's. This is that's my yeah, family. Yeah, it's your Neanderthal family. No, we OPs. We OPs. OPs. This, we. This video has almost a million views. I know, Jared, the big video is... But no, I ask you, you guys, uh, the three people that are watching, what's more interesting, yeah. the big video or the story about Arthur Rambeau, dude? I think it's the combination and the fact that we can talk over this. and, and, and... Oh, that was only the first one. There's four more. There's four more uh, Bigfoot videos? Sightings in this clip, yeah. Oh, four more sightings. Four more sightings. Four... Oh, look at that guy. What the fuck? Oh, we're looking at okay, okay. Now, see, you're looking. I'm behind you because yeah. I'm looking at what I'm seeing oh, on the live behind, stream. You're behind me. Yeah, I'm behind you, son. I'm behind, oh. I'm behind you. But Be believe me, it's better to be behind in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Want to be the one that's behind in this particular situation? How yeah. come? How come all of these sightings? The person shooting the cam, like using the camera, just does not know how to hold a camera. Like, you have one right. fucking job. I'm, I'm going to send you a picture of Arthur Rambeau, and you should post it for everybody to see. All right, I'll put it up. Rambo look like. Send it on Telegram so I don't have to. Oh, I sent it on Skype. Oh, it's going to fuck up the... Oh. Well, well, oh, well, it'll be a glitch that'll disappear in a moment. Just to re retrieve it, and then it'll be fine. Was this your spirit this... animal? No, but certainly one of my early... Uh, you know, po poetic heroes. Yeah, I guess if you, I mean, I don't believe in poetic heroes now, but I did for, for a considerable period of my young adulthood. Actually, when I was your age, when I was your age, you had a young adult life. I did. When I was your age, I would have been reading Arthur Rambo and yeah. All I can think of is Rochambeau. I mean, the two greatest uh, writers of the 19th century, in my opinion, greatest poets in the 19th century, in my opinion, both of them broke tradition in very in very similar ways. That's his picture now up on the screen. Walt Whitman and Arthur Rimbaud. Yeah, Arthur Rimbaud. He is the original Bigfoot. Arthur Rimbaud. There he is. There he is. There's he, he Arthur. He looks particularly French. He does, doesn't he? He does. He's got that look of, like... I need to surrender. No, no, that's not. He was not a surrender monkey. He was actually pretty hardcore when he, I mean, he walked all the way around Africa. Well, not all of Africa, but I mean, a, he walked everywhere. Uh, thousands and thousands of miles in Africa. And eventually that's what's killed him. He wow. managed to stagger home, walk home from Africa. I mean, look at that face. Look at that gaze. I, look at that stare. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, it's an old photo, dude. I know, but just look at him. He's yeah, but you know, so a lot of these photos, you have to stay still for like long periods of time to get the photos. So, yeah, probably not a very natural look on your face because you had to stay still. That's yeah. why all these photos look weird. You know that, right? Yeah, it's like basic science. Basic this science, man. Objective, factual science. He also had a. Uh, he had a. He oh, had a... I can put you since you're keyed out. I can put you on top of the video. Okay. So now you have Bigfoot behind you. I would love to have Bigfoot. Well, no, I would not love to have <laughs> Objective fact, I would not love to have. Now, see, that's awesome. Yes. Th this is pretty cool now. But I would not love to have Bigfoot behind me. He's, he's behind you. Look how yeah, Yes, yes, Bodhi is wearing a robe. That is correct. I'm, I'm naked. It happens. 
Okay, o- o- Obi Ken said my story was more entertaining than Bigfoot. Yeah. And uh, Jared also said the Rambo story is cool. I love Bigfoot. Yeah, I, I, love, I love Bigfoot, Bigfoot too, Bigfoot. Jared. I'm. I just would rather not Actually, have. Actually, I just joined a Bigfoot society here in New Hampshire. Uh, I'm going to be trying to go out into the wilderness and, and filming. Bigfoot filming in the White Mountains. Yeah. My my co-host on the show that I do, my real co-host that I have, um, Dimitri. D- oh, Dimitri. Yeah, uh, he's a big Bigfoot uh, guy. He watches Bigfoot videos all the time. He's he, totally he, into. Wow, I should probably do a show with him on Bigfoot. Oh my, he would love he would love to do a show with you. Is that about, is that, is that interesting? But, take it off. You want me to take the robe off? I do not want you to take your robe off. Okay. I'm, no. No, Melissa. Is it okay to say to your studio audience that happens to be a female, shut your whore mouth? No, that's totally appropriate. Okay, shut your whore mouth! <laughs> no! Oh, gosh, no. Did you? See, I'm watching the yeah. delayed part. So oh, I you're just watching. Saw him the, do the... You just saw me do it again. All right, that's it for that. Five real UFO sightings caught on camera. No, no, what's, what's wrong with the Bigfoots, man? The Bigfoots is You want to keep doing the Bigfoots? No, we don't have to. You do what you want, man. You know I'm what? just clicking away. Yeah, just just clicking away because that's what we do. So, yeah, Arthur Rambo, man. Arthur One of Rambo. The... He's, is, is that spelled like Rambo? Like Rambo Rambo? R-I-M-B-A-U-D. I will copy the – you know what? I'm going to – hold on. Let me get the Wikipedia. Yo, Mr. Spooks, what about a video on UFOs or something? That shit can be pretty. And then it crossed out. Hey, did uh, did you guys ever see any of the our Hanna Barbera videos? Yeah, Hanna Barbera. Dude, do you Barbera know what you should do? Do you have the hand, one of the Hanna Barbera videos on on YouTube's? Uh, no, those, are, those aren't on YouTube's. Holy moly! Why not? Because they're just they need- on they're just on Facebook. Yeah, but they need to be on YouTube's, man. Because then you could have that playing behind us. Like that be the whole background behind well, us. Well, I can still we just could go to Facebook show. and play it. Could you make it the background? Yeah, it's just a window All capture. All of us? And I? Well, yeah, I know how to do it. I, I, even, I, I know how to do it. I can even lose the background. That's what I'm saying. Lose the Agora background and make the video the background although keep me in the strange oh no you can't never mind yeah never mind the background yeah, don't do that don't do that no 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 i'm all pedestrian you pedestrian me i don't want to be pedestrian you don't want to be pedestrian. I'm young to be pedestrian all right we'll put, we'll put you back you're right back not, you're i can move you to the side a little bit okay i i feel weird watching myself being moved around i feel a little dizzy I feel, I feel a little clumped I don't know what we're doing. I like Agora in the wind. I like I like being in the window. I like I like being a guy poking out a window, looking over your shoulder. I'm behind you. You're you're behind me. You're inside the TV. I'm behind. I mean your I mean your house. I cannot find that YouTube clip of Master Shake. Hey, wait! Uh, I've 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 already done a naked video when we were with um, James Weeks. I know. I got I know. naked. I know you did. I was I was the you one. You were there. That, you were the fu- you were the normie who would not take his clothes off. I was not the normie. I was the decent human being. You, you took your socks off and showed I us did. your feet, which was I did do horrifying. That. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I got a video for you to. All right. Okay, here. I got you got to play this video. I got to play this. See. Video. I'm going to share it on uh you know, where should I share it? How about if I share it on Facebook so I don't mess your thing up? Oh, Ginger just uh, Gin- Ginger just commented, I can animate penises flying through space. I'd rather you did not do that. That would be perfect. No, no I would. Captain I would Caveman. Oh, all the cool kids are here now. This is awesome. Flying penises, wigs, and Captain Caveman. Okay, cool. here you go. I, I, you got to play this video, and I want the audio with it, too. All right. It's in reference to the "I'm in your house" thing. Is this See, me, if I was if this, I was running the show, this, this would have happened instantly. Is this me being drunk? No, you're not. No, no, come on. <laughs> I would never do that. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch me get freaking hammered. 
What? No, no, not, not, not get, not get. It was not a getting. I was already trashed. It was a done. It was actually, it was like the last uh, five, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of, of a night of debauchery. (laughs) And we got, we got to see the little Roman candle kind of like, it's like, who just messaged messaged me, Paul? Oh, you sent it to me on Facebook. Like, can you pick a platform? I just said to it. You complained about me sending it to you in Skype because you're like, hey, can you make up my? I was like, okay. I... So then I sent it to you in the one that you originally suggested, Facebook. All right. So let me just. Go are to you face... kidding me? Let me go to are Facebook. You, are you? You know what? The next one I send you, I'm going to send you in Skype. Because <laughs> <laughs> now that I know there's a trigger involved. <laughs> well, you see a trigger, you get it pulled. That's what you do. Are you fucking kidding me? Did you? Are you gonna play this now? Oh, Come oh, on. oh, oh! I don't know whose windows are popping up. Oh, this could be bad. What are you talking about? Oh. No. I'm wearing. I'm. I'm wearing a. I'm. I'm wearing a dress jacket with a white t-shirt because that's what you do now. My 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 freaking arms stuck on the chair. <laughs> And I also let my hair out. Usually I keep my Come hair on, pinned load, back. load, damn it. Why won't it load the messenger? Wait, the YouTube? Oh, you're not getting... Oh, you know what? Screw it. I messenger can't... Uh, Facebook's... F- messenger has failed. There you go. All right. I sent to Skype anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, oh, lovely. Would you like this in a British accent then, Ginger? Is that what you like? You got any particular British accent you like? Not that I can hold on to any one particular British accent for any sustained period of time. Listen here, I you always, fucking wanker. Oh, we seem to oh, degenerate this, yeah, into, sure, this the, is uh, into the cockney. In so, house. you know, even though I stopped off, you know. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh, that's With a the science video. fiction horror twist. All right. Oh, there it is. I mean your house. That was it? I, your house. Yeah, yeah. It was 13 seconds. Yes, it's Master Shake saying I'm in your house. You didn't get the reference. See, you're not quick enough. I think of these references, and then I pull up a video that goes with a reference. Bada boom, bada bing, bob, your uncle. But you, you're like, hold hold on. I can't even play it without you freaking talking. Okay, go ahead. You know, I've been on TV a lot. See, this is, oh, this, yeah, sure. This is my sitcom with I'm in your house. With the science fiction All right, did you play twist. it? <laughs> wow, Eat. that was amazing. Hey, is it? It was pretty awesome. Come on. It's riveting. I'm in your house. I can't do Irish, man. I can't do Irish. Oh, you can't do Irish. That's a bit of a problem. I can't. I can't do it. I can't, can't do it. I, I, I can't I, I, do I can't, the Irish. I, 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 I really always absent. The... It's been uh, a, it's, I cannot uh... do the. You know, I, whenever I, I, I Irish, Irish, it's uh, when I start off she Irish. The Irish. Irish. I'm there for about two seconds, and then I, and then I, and then I, I turn into a Scotsman, and then I go back to Cockney English. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Same thing. Every yes. Every freaking time. Every it's freaking like, time. The Irish in me always ends up a Cockney Englishman. I'm sorry, I. I yeah, apologize, so, huh? Emphasis. I can frost it like it's Emphasis on the cock. Oh, yeah. Ah, would you like me lucky? No, I'm not going to ask. What the hell is Bodie. this? What the hell is this with what, the puppet? I'm, not, I'm never going to ask. Hey, what is this? This What's is your left? Do? This is your left. Oh, yeah. This is your left. That's your left. This is this your right. Is your left, that's, that's your right. Your We're all going to die. Oh, play it. Play it. Play it. This is good this stuff. Is right, no, this, is, right. this, this is your right. This is. This is. Oh, no. I don't know Chinese. Chinese. You don't Chinese. You racist. This is your right, and that's your right. This is your right, are you, are you that's down? your this right. This is fucked up. This is pretty awesome. This is rock with you. This is your left, that's your left. This is your right, that's your right. That's your oh, left, and now. that's your right. Yes. So I don't know if Ginger, I don't know if the uh, British accent uh, was sufficient for you, Ginger. This uh, is your left, uh, that's you'd like to complain, please send it. Can't. Wait, wait. Are you seriously saying this is your left? That's your left is awful. It's really bad. I just stopped. I can't. I can't listen to it. Y- this is your left. That's your left. 
Oh, come on, dude. It's it's so But it's cool. all backwards. It's <laughs> Oh, is that triggering you? Okay, I'm, I'm, let me see if I can find another Aqua Teen. Carl. Well, we, we got the Don't Put It In Your Mouth full version from 1993. Have you ever seen that video? That sounds great. <laughs> don't put it in your... Don't put it in your mouth. Don't stuff it in your face. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think your mommy or daddy are always you telling you, don't Aqua put that in your mouth? But, but yeah, yeah. Let's find out. Hi, kids. Why that. are we on television anyway? We're here to tell a little story about why They're you shouldn't done, put man. things Come into on. your mouth we when you don't know what they are. No. And why you should never take Shh. anything a stranger tries to give you. Why not? Because if you ate somebody else's medicine, some bad food, or some poison, you could get very sick. Yuck! I don't want to be sick! And that's why before you eat anything, you should always ask someone you love if it's okay. Okay, I love you. Can I eat the guitar? No. I can't oh. hear but any of this, so this is a bit awkward. About <laughs> eating things that don't belong inside you. Okay, I wasn't really hungry anyway. Well, wait, maybe a little bit. Okay, everybody. Yeah, disappear. see something that you you Dude, you disappeared before me? Before you do anything, remember this song. <laughs> don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you delayed. put it in your mouth. Don't you stuff it in your face. Don't stuff it in your face. So it might look I'm not seeing it live. Eat. So it might look good to eat. Actually, I'm seeing it when you guys are seeing it. And it might look good to taste. No, no, I'm not you seeing it. You could get sick. Happy time, Harry. Happy time, Harry. No, are you? No, no, no. You don't mean happy time, Harry. You mean hip hop, Harry. Don't you hip hop, Harry. Do you remember Hip Hop Harry? No. Oh, don't, 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 don't you be swerving on my Hip Hop Harry reference. Wow. Remember, boys and girls? I should probably put What See, I, I can't doing? hear any of it, so like, it's like, I'm not then enjoying don't the Don't put fun. it in your mouth. Bye-bye, everyone. You Remember, boys and girls, never Ugh. take anything from a stranger, and don't put well. things in your mouth when you don't know what they are. If you eat somebody else's medicine... All right, let me know when it's over, because I'm bored. some poison, no, you not. could get very sick. Oh, so always good. ask someone you love before you put anything in your mouth. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take that back up, because it's mine. Yeah, make sure you ask someone you love before you put something in your mouth. What is this red line? I have like a red line. Yeah, what's up with that red line, man? What's up with that? I don't even exist anymore. I am not even no, in existence. you're back. You're back. Hey, 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 Ty. Hey, Ty, what's this stuff about you You disappearing from fake book? Fake, fake, fake book? Fake book? Then, uh... No, no, yeah, but that, he's probably based on hip hop, Harry. No, no, happy. Oh no, happy time, Harry was the doll, right, Ginger? Happy, yeah, happy time, Harry. You know, yep, he mm -hmm. he carried a knife with him, and he was uh he was addicted to codeine or some sort of prescription drugs. Wow. Oh, happy time, Harry. Happy time, Harry. Dude, I gotta find that now. I gotta find happy time, Harry. I gotta to find. Need to find it for you. No, you can't find stuff. You're stupid. Happy. There we go. The happy time, Harry. Happy time. How do you spell Harry? Uh, you you spell it. Uh, Paul already got it. That's how. Aqua Teen oh. Hunger Force, the best of go. happy there, time, there, Harry. There you go. Hit her up, dud. Dude, it's dud. such a pain in the ass to click the. Aqua oh my Teen God. Hunger Force. Is that the best of? The best of happy time, Harry. Yeah, I have it right here myself because all I did was put happy time, Harry. In the search bar? You lie. You freaking lie. You got the link from me. You couldn't even figure out how to spell happy. Whoa, whoa, I got one. Why don't we call ourselves, let's get off our f***ing asses and do something, because my parole officer really loves it when I don't tell him that I spent my one day happy time around Harry. on the f***ing moon. Happy, happy. Want to see some happy So I'm, I'm looking in that box, and I'm noticing you ain't got no uh, missile launcher. Oh, oh you, you went deep six. No, so you no, went, you I went don't have a firearm. I just Mr. got Ty, these action bills. You think this is a game? Okay, that's good. Do, do that's good. I, I don't want you disappearing, because eventually What's I want to do a show up? with you, Ty. Pills. Soon, actually. Okay, talking over the videos. What's this I hear oh, about me. Pills and money. What are you going to do about it? You want me to play something, oh I play it. What does it matter? We can talk over videos. It's, it's, man, you know what? You can't even anarchy. Right? Where is it? You know what, people? Oh, I figured out what that line is. What line? 
I had half my liver removed once, and uh, I'm supposed it's to drink. It's the window cropping on my screen. They're getting along out there. there we go. Oh, okay. The, the line. line. Okay. That, I, so you, so you, so you nuked it. I nuked the line. I don't know. I'm gonna miss the line. Actually, the line was pretty, pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ty, you know what? Do a, a video. Uh, oh, this is your peaceful account. Yeah, he was doing some. He was going to war, wasn't he? Yeah, Ty, you were going to war against the fascists. Okay. I was impressed. Oh. You were like you were slinging it hard. I want to do a. Why do you a, think I cut my hair, man? I thought you were gonna take a swing at me next. I, yeah, yeah. That's that's why I'm wearing this and cap wig. Yes. Yeah. I don't. Oh. Oh. Oh God. It's it's a wonder. You know, it's a wonderful hold, hold thing. Hold it up a little know, higher. A little higher. It's it's a wonderful thing, you know. It's it's absolutely it's it's it's. it's you think about the 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 the, the craftsmanship and the, and the millions of people that contributed in some small part to the ball here that's uh, been created here. You know, this 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 bow tie here it didn't just uh, create it itself. You couldn't predict that this bow tie would even exist and it would even have a, a utilitarian purpose. But yet somehow somehow the market managed to meet a need. And and what we see here we see this wonderful tucker ball here. This tucker ball. If you have this tucker. Ball. By your bed, and you lose a tooth in the middle of the night. This tucker bar will will pay you for your tooth three cents. Don't ask for anything more because that is not what the market will allow. And we must worship the market. We must praise. And it's wonderful if you if you praise the market. What ends up happening is uh, somebody will turn you into a ball, an anarchy ball. And I am a tucker ball. And if 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 you're wow. well. Behaved, then eventually you could be a tie ball. You could be a ginger ball. Uh, dude, are you serious? I don't get it. Serious? You, you, this is a Tucker ball, dude. I understand. The the only <laughs> useful video I ever watched from him was shaving without shaving cream. I like Jeffrey Tucker. That was the only video I ever watched from him. Uh, it yes, was a promo it did. <laughs> about shaving without shaving cream. Yes, Jared is right. <laughs> I, I saw in the video the Tucker Ball. He started off with Edgar. It was like, oh, yeah, it's wonderful. You know, the technology, it's so wonderful. You know, but actually, now that I think about it, technology is suppressing the workers and keeping them. And, uh, you know, we should really be living in the forest naked, uh, eating eating berries. I should Facebook it. Should I just get naked now? No, please don't get naked. I, I would prefer it now. Yes, yes, Ty, I have the Tucker Ball. I also have an anarchy ball. Too. I have an agorist ball somewhere. Yep. My dog has balls too. He has big balls. Big tennis balls. They're green. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wait, your dog still has balls? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my dog has balls, tennis balls. He didn't you didn't neuter? Well, that was a I, well, I don't know how we got to that unrelated conversation, but uh, no, no, I do not. I did not neuter my dog. It will not neuter my dog. It won't happen. That's good. Happen. I'm not chopping off my buddy's boys. I'm just not going to do it. I'm proud of you, Paul. Are you proud of me for choosing not to, to lob off the... Uh... I always knew you were a furry. I just didn't know how far you'd take it. You, you do realize that furries, like people dressed as animals, not actual animals. You you do realize that, right? They're not they're not into bestiality. Okay, some might. No. Whoa, what do you Why know? would you You're hanging out with You're hanging out with the wrong furry <laughs> No. Hold on. I Wait. know nothing. What furry I you know hanging out nothing. With? You I don't know up. anything. Seriously. Look, just because I like to dress up in a squirrel suit. I... So, so Melissa, you said yes, they are. I don't know what she means there. She's uh, a random yes, they are. So yes, not... they are. Furries are be into bestiality. That's why they dress like fur. No, no, they are not. No yes. way. No way. Yes. I, I this up. Have you not been on Tumblr? Oh, oh don't, my God. don't go to Tumblr, man. You'll have a heart attack. Just go to Tumblr. You struggle with more than two genders. I can't imagine what would happen if you saw t Tumblr. You, I, your head I, would I don't, explode. I don't struggle with, with two genders or more. Gen I, I don't you struggle. struggle. Not, okay, ready? Hold on. You, you, you freaking lying. Have, you didn't want to have this conversation. Poor mouth liars. Oh, I do want to have this conversation. Just don't want to do it when I'm not in a serious mood. 
Does being a furry equate to being into best bestiality? Okay, this is from Quora. Okay, yeah. more like Quora. Best, bestiality. Um, yeah, bestiality. I said bestiality. <laughs> bestiality uh, is the bestiality. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, since this answer complies to what I thought, I think this answer is pretty definitive. Not at all. In fact, the vast majority of furries are rather sickened by bestiality. Best, I keep saying it now. Now I'm going to always say bestiality from now on. How? The main difference, not at all. In fact, the vast majority, you know, I'm going to share this link in the chat group, y'all, so y'all can check it out for yourself. And Melissa, once again, lying whore mouth. You know what I'm saying? And there's your definitive proof here. Matt Davis of Quora has answered the question definitively. Now, I do want to let you know that if I had stumbled upon an answer that said, yes, they are, I'd keep looking. <laughs> well, that's, I found that's, that. that's, how we, that's how Google works, confirmation bias. <laughs> what do you I will about? find evidence that supports my outrageous it's not com claim. It's not confirmation bias. It's, it's finding the truth that I already know is true. We're digging up the truth. That's, we found we found someone's truth. Snow my, yeah. my, in, my interest is in finding the truth that I know is true. You know what? You know what, Melissa? How can, how, how dare you? How it's dare not a you? Credible source. She she knows she's, her oh, sources. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, you know your furry sources, Melissa? Yeah, we should really have a conversation. Yes, yeah, send this. us a YouTube link. We'll play it live. Okay, send me a YouTube link. Send it. Send it to Mr. Bodie. Although uh, you have to let me. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll. Yeah, you'll have to send me the link so I can play it while you're playing it. So I uh, can. I'm kind of curious why she has a link of bestiality. Or, yeah, uh, yeah. What's up with that? What's up with that, <laughs> Melissa? Melissa? I'm into. I was, I'm into foxes and cat girls. I it. was looking. I was looking for something suggestive what? in her, in her, in oh, her shit. name, Melissa Vaughn, <laughs> Vaughn. Vaughn. <laughs> F V. I can't find. I can't find any hidden animals in her name. Which is kind of disappointing. It would have been great. You ruined a moment, Melissa. Your she, parent. She totally used to won. train wolf dogs. You did? Yeah. Wow. And let, tell me, tell me, uh, when you think of wolf dogs, what kind of feeling do you get? Just, just first impulse. Oof. Wow. Your family thinks you're insane. Well, if you're rolling on the freaking floor, <laughs> I can say so. If you're crying out, "Wolf dog, I miss you." Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Wolf dog, wolf dog, I miss you. Wolf dog, I miss you. I'm not a furry. Wolf dog, I miss you. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that's okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. What, what fine. happens when a Did dog? Did we get the video? What Where's this video? What happens when a dog furry finds a fire hydrant? Like, what about, is there, could Did you have be a young? furry? Could you be like a furry fire hydrant? Like a fire, like a... A furry fire hydrant? I... Oh, so, oh, she saw a show once on Strange Addictions. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, I see how it is. I thought... Uh... Dismiss Quora, which well, is highly scientific. Now I feel or... awkward. Strange now Addictions. Now I feel awkward. I... Let's find the video. Let's find it. Oh, okay. God. Oh God. My strange addiction for suit fetish for I guess so. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and send. Wow. It. There's my my strange addiction. There's dabbing, eating poop, compilation, reaction, car, TLC, furniture, mattresses. Trisha plays full up. Oh, Trisha Paytas. What the fuck is that? Fur. Furry. Furry. First I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, my, my strange addiction first suit fetish. Let's play that. Yeah, when you're playing it, let me know because I'll play it so I can listen. Tell me when you start. Um, I'm going to. Well, let's get the show rolling. We got, we got, a, we got Wait, an audience. I got 11 strange, 11 my strange addiction, my furries in the media. Hello and welcome to another captivating no, episode no, no. of furries in the media. Oh, you're I'm doing that one instead? Yeah. All right, well. When you start playing it, let me know, because then it's I'll look. Now. It's Dabber Gwine, okay, I'm going to play. And today, let's look at My Strange Addictions episode that featured a furry. First okay. suit fetish. Oh, it's lagging hard. Oh, so it's somebody. All right. Okay, hold on. This is really lag. Let me let it load. It's not playing properly. I can't believe I'm. Oh, wow. 
It's four minutes and 36 seconds. It's worth it. All right. Hello, and welcome to another captivating episode of Furries in the Media. I'm your host, Abergwine, and today is a poor let's look at My student. Strange Addictions episode that featured a furry, fursuit fetish. Her persona does play a partner. All right, life. they got an actual furry on the show. My name well, is who's Lauren, not going to wave in tra- to traffic I'm if you're dressed student? up in a furry suit? In the same suit. scene where she I introduces would. herself as a college student, the camera shows her cooking pasta. Now, I know you're thinking, Abergwine, aren't you being a little nitpicky here? Just hear me out. I know that this image of her cooking a cheap meal of spaghetti is only on the screen for less than a second, but by showing this, even briefly, the show implants the image that she's a I really want to punch student. this furry in my the face. My persona does play a part in my daily life. Wow. Why are they having her wave at traffic? I want to violate the nap right now. Is Big obsessed time. obsessed wearing fake animal ears, masks, paws, and tails. She admits to dressing as hmm. a furry. If these were such important details about Lauren's life, why isn't she the one to tell us? Maybe because they couldn't get her to say these things because she doesn't actually do them? Lauren's always been a real creative person. This is another thing I'm going to nitpick over. According to Lauren's account of the story, she had friends at the time they were shooting this. So why didn't the show interview them instead of interviewing her mom? My guess is they wanted to show her as being socially awkward and having no friends. All of a sudden one day she came and said, Mom, you want to give me some money so I can start buying some fur and... Making these don't suits, trace or copy For those of you who don't know, a typical fursuit can range in price anywhere from several hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars. I bet that the people working on this show knew this, but chose to neglect this fact in order to make it look like Lauren couldn't animals. afford to do what she wants and has to lean on her mother's prosperity just to carry out her addiction. This is my fursona Kira. I'm she just... is my first fursona I've made. She is a fox. Before you guys skewer me, yes, I've heard that she's traced the picture. I am not endorsing that at all. Don't trace her copy artwork, kids. It ain't cool. What What? I am applauding here is that they showed us a furry's depiction of her own character. It offers a slightly more accurate view of what being a furry is about. Building and designing a character, and less of just wanting to be an animal and not really putting any further thought into it. Normally, I'm kind of shy, but... Kira right lets now. me bring out my more outgoing and talkative side. If I'm ever having a bad day, Are you still with us? Just going out will definitely end the day. In the it is a pathetic This picture. statement, coupled but with the show's okay. exclusion You're of her friends and the implication that she girl. can't even afford to do what she wants, paints a pathetic picture. How about those review stats? Accuracy is 50%, and the spirit is 17%, averaging out to 34%. And now time for my thoughts. Say that! Hey, my strange no addiction. Sexual Was this a fetish or an addiction? Melissa. It doesn't seem like she gets any sexual gratification from wearing her Whoa. fursuit, so I think that rules out Whoa. fetish. So maybe it's an addiction Whoa. like the name of your show implies? Whoa. An addiction, in this particular Man. case, would probably um, look something like this. We would expect to see message? Lauren compulsively wearing her fursuit every chance mess- she got. Yeah. We could even expect to see the suit in a state of disrepair because she would never take no. it off to clean no, it. This, even this though the show tries to really set it up spooky. like she has an addiction, I Lauren's felt. own account of the story contradicts this by mentioning that she had only worn her suit two times before shooting the show and that the show had her wear her suit in it's a lot of situations where she felt uncomfortable. While the show pushed really hard to make it seem like Lauren didn't spend a moment of her life independent of her fursuit, I didn't see we'll anything finish. in her behavior that suggested that this she... Is, this is useless. This is a useless video. Well, it, it, the the part where this person is not going to talk on and on a uh, serious analysis of uh, furries is okay. So yeah. I'm, I I got no problem with people being furry. I really don't care. I'm just busting their chops. But did you get a did you get a furry mob, mafia message? Basically, what was the message? Um, I can't review. Well, it, it, apparently someone joined the stream that shouldn't have. A human being? Not anymore. An an entity? <laughs> Did you ask the entity if furries are, are into bestiality? I, you should have done I sh- that. I should have. Is the entity now gone? No. What is the entity's name? I can't say. Do I do I have, have do I know this entity? Nope. Have I been referenced to this entity in the past? Mm, no. It's Donald Trump, isn't oh, it? Oh, now I can't see any of the comments. It's Donald Trump, isn't it? It is Donald Trump. You figured it. Why? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, Melissa's, uh, she's walking it back now. I'm not saying all of them are into it, but some of them definitely. Uh, you know what? That is equivocating. That is moving the goalpost or whatever 
You know, that's a that's a performative contradiction. Uh, it, it, either A or B, choose one. Pick one. Yeah, you're done. You're done on all. Yeah. Plus, you just you just advocated for child slavery. So, congratulations on that, Melissa. Good job. You know what? Good job. Way to go. Okay. So what else we got? I don't know. You're getting all creepy on me, man. I'm, Come I'm, on. I'm all spooked now. What? 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 Well, you got to tell. What? What? What are you spooked about? You got a message. Uh, it's, Some... it's opsec, man. I can't. I can't totally reveal. I'm just weirded out. You're 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 being a real uh, buzzkill at this point. Oh my god! I, yeah, I am. I well, think everybody in the show would acknowledge the show must. I, be... Yeah, you're no Melissa. I totally. I nailed that to the wall. There's a zero and cap zero big Melissa zero and cap Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can't see comments now. Whoa, uh, Melissa said there's a recently deceased person on this feed. Yes. Okay, now I'm creeped out. That's what I'm saying. How's come I don't see this recently deceased person? I don't either. Okay, and he just logged on to his feed. Ye, Victor Ye died a few months ago. Okay, Melissa, you know what? I'm going to go research Victor Ye now. I don't Victor know. Ye. I, I, I'm, like, really weirded out. I, this Did, has never happened before. Ever had a dead man Facebook you? Yeah. Hold on. Let's see who this guy is. So, let's see. Is, it could is just that... be a fake troll account. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh... I only see, for people, I only see one person. Victor Yi the third. VC1, is that who we're talking about? Yeah, I just, I'm looking at... If you're dead, please. If, if you're dead, knock twice. Please, if you're dead, don't Facebook. It's really, it's really, it really shows you have a Facebook problem. <laughs> you know what? If you die and you still have to Facebook, you, you have an addiction. You should really get that checked out. Yeah, you got it. Facebooking after death. Oh, I found him. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you there. This is really weird. This is very, very strange. Somebody, Maybe somebody just uh, is using his account, Melissa. Maybe it's a furry. I think it's a furry. It could be a troll. It might be a furry. I know, right? Everybody's all creeped out now. I'm like, uh, I don't know, man. I got to find a poem. I got to find a poem that's apropos for this situation. Oh. Um, hold on. Uh, Mutual friends. I don't know. This is spooky. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, all right. I got, I got this. Hold Ready? On. Yeah, hold on. I'll be right back. All right. Are you leaving me? Wow, I'm left on the show by myself. What a tool. Okay, I'm gonna read a poem. Random poem, but in relation to everything that we've been talking about here. It's by Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson. She lived from 1830 to 1886. No, I did not have that memorized. Uh, Emily Dickinson was an odd gal. Uh, she was a, an extreme introvert. She probably suffered from some serious Asperger's. And she wrote poetry all the time. And... During her lifetime, I think she had maybe two poems published. A couple people recognized her genius, but nobody ever really published anything of hers. And then she died. And then discovered her poems. And she became one of the major po poets of the, of the 19th century. So I thought I'd read this poem. Are you ready? Because I could not stop for death. Oh, shit. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for oh, me. I see the, the character tell what are just ourselves and immortality. We slowly drove, he knew no haste, and I had put away my labor and my leisure too for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of gazing grain, we passed the setting sun. Or rather, he passed us. 
The dews drew quivering and chill For only gossamer, my gown, my tippet, only tulle. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, the cornice in the ground. Since then, tis centuries, and yet feels shorter than the day. I first surmised the horses' heads were towards eternity. This is when everybody goes, I don't feel any better now. I'm seriously, like, freaked out right now. The, the, these are the times when I'm glad that I take... Oh, oh, you want another Rambo poem, Jared? These are the times when I'm really glad that I take a Stoic's approach to life. Because yeah. I accept the things that I cannot control, and I try to maximize the areas where I can control. <laughs> if there's spookaluka going on, I have no control over it. So therefore... I will not be owned by it because I am a freaking bo Ugh. Oh, thank God that guy's gone. All right. Well, now we can get on with the real show. Uh, I'm back! Oh! Let's find another Arthur Rambo phone. As long as there's no raven knocking at my door. Both the raven. Never mind. Oh, did you know ravens are really just crows? Um, you're lying. Your whore mouth is lying. No, nope, they're all Corvus. Mm -hmm. Ravens and crows are Corvus. I don't know what that means. They're fa that's the family. The gene or whatever I don't really the fuck. care. I'm already bored with this conversation. Okay. I Just let you know. It. Oh, well, there's a Rambo poem in French. Does anybody know French? Uh, I'm not a surrender monkey, so I don't know French. That yeah. sucks. See, I... I uh, speaking of spirits, Ty's, Ty's going to go check out the spirits. I think he means drink, which is not a bad idea. I got guns in my head and I don't go. I got spirits in my head and I won't go. Did you know, I, 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 I actually attract, I got... my, my, whole, we, uh, my whole family actually, we attract weird things. It's kind of weird. Wait, I don't, what does that say about me? You're part of it. You might, I... you might not even be alive. When's the last time you checked your pulse? I never check my pulse. I don't want to be disappointed. You know? Awesome. It's like, hey, man, I'm alive. <laughs> you know, and I don't want to find out. I don't I don't care to know. Wow, that really bugged me out. Nice one. Good job, Melissa. That was, that was good. Hey, hey, good job, Melissa. Way, way stepping in, way being part of the team. Oh, such as the... Team player, yeah. Okay. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. First it was Bigfoot. Then it was what's his face, and then furries. Do we ever? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody, I have another poem for you, and this is for you, Melissa. You did this. You did this. This, this is from Pablo Neruda, surrealist poet. I love surrealist poets. Oh, I love Naruto. Naruto? <laughs> that that that's like a it's an anime. anime thing. I'm yeah. kidding. Yeah. The Song of Despair. I'm not going to read the whole thing, just oh. part. Oh, great. The memory of you emerges from the night around me. The river mingles its stubborn lament with the sea. Dest de deserted like the wharves at dawn. It is the hour of departure, O oh, deserted one. Cold flower heads are raining over my heart. O oh, pit of debris, Fierce cave of the shipwrecked. In you the wars and the flights accumulated. From you the wings of the songbirds rose. You swallowed everything like distance, like the sea, like time. In you everything sank. It was the happy hour of assault and the kiss. The hour of the spell that blazed like a lighthouse. Pilot's dread, fury of a blind diver turbulent drunkenness of love in you everything sank i recommend you read the whole poem it's a it's a long poem did you just recite that from memory no oh no. i was really impressed for a second no no i do have a poem from memory that i could recite from sylvia plath but it's kind of a downer from you paul Downer poetry? No. Never. <laughs> Downer poetry? Sylvia Plath, which I had a mad crush on her. Yeah, uh, she, yeah you had a crush on a she, dead chick. That's... She, she, she suicided in 
uh, February 11th, 1963, which is five years before I was born. But that still did not prevent me from having mad crushes on her. For did you a, ever dig up her body just to give it one last bone? I did not. I did not make it over to England where she's buried, even though she is American. She was born in Massachusetts. The woman is perfect. Her dead body wears the smile of accomplishment. The illusion of a Greek necessity flows in the scrolls of her toga. Her bare feet seem to be saying we have come so far. It is over. Each dead child coiled a white serpent, one at each little pitcher of milk now closed. The moon has nothing to be sad about, staring from her hood of bone, her blacks crackle and drag. There you go. Holy fuck. This changed your life, didn't I? Yeah. That's that's poetry, dude. That's freaking poetry. That is poetry. That's amazing. Great, great. Hey, remember when I read uh, the Ballad of Eskimo Nell? <laughs> yeah, it was a very different kind of poem. That was a very actually. That was a very different poem. We should revisit that. Ar- one. Arthur Rambo appreciate would appreciate that poem. That was a great poem. Sylvia Plath, however, would not. Her poetry was dripping with classical references. Oh yeah, she. Well, actually, I don't know. The poem might have made her dripping. Wow, did you just, did you just, are you serious? We're talking about, uh, wait, what'd she say? Oh, oh okay, um, never mind, Melissa's uh, apologizing, which she should. Uh, did you just, uh, did you just denigrate the bitch goddess? Yeah. That's what she's known as, by the way, the bitch goddess. Oh, so bitch, have, bitch goddess yeah. is the wettest. Wow, I am so triggered right now. You know what, as penance, you should read her entire uh, when she collect- walks, it probably sounds like a rainforest. Her her entire collection of poetry, <laughs> Ariel. You need you, seriously. You're 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 you're. Wait, hold. What was that guy's name again? I'm gonna get him. Hey, buddy, come on back, Mister Ye the Third. Come on back, buddy. We need you. <laughs> we need your work. Is it <laughs> done Ooh, here? Swatty, oosh. Oosh, swatty, money, woody. Oh, we're all gonna die. All right. Do we have anything on? I, I think we're done with this show. What do you think? I think we're done with this show. It was a good. I think it was a good, it was, it was a good hour. It was. This was. This was like the uh, the surrealist anarchist Seinfeld show. That's what it was. This was just fucked up. I don't even know what to title it. There was, you know, it's, it's strange weird. in the agora. This is par for the freaking course. Yeah, absolutely. This is strange in the agora. This is. Yeah. There's. There's no point to any of that and you know what's funny this probably got this got better ratings better view better watch than my more serious videos well yeah so thank you audience i I think they like this better in general i'd rather be entertained yeah yeah i mean not that i don't want to be edumacated and 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 be all all ponderous and thoughtful but uh, no no ty we're not going to call it that call it fucked up dead people yeah no, don't, don't. Paul wanted to fuck a dead chick. Wow. But her well, body was in England. I can't deny. Well, I I would have not wanted. I okay. I wasn't. Oh gosh, I've I've gone horribly wrong. <laughs> I, oh god. I, I, I'm, I'm not into necrophilia, so there was uh the fantasy was that I would go back in time to a living chick, not a dead chick. The dead chick part did not appeal to me. Going back in time to the living chick. Well, you know what? Oh, hold on. Hold on. We can't end yet until okay. I have to a find. Furry. I agree, Melissa. Worse than a furry. What's? Well, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Necrophiliac. Definitely. I'm going to show you a picture. Well, of actually, at least with necrophilia, there's no victim. Hold on. I'm sending. No, no but it's just creepy. Yeah, but there's there no you victim. Go. No victim, no there crime. Post picture of Sylvia Plath. Dang it. Oh, great. This is going to be creepy. No, she's hot. She's, she's totally hot, man. Totally. That's hot. Yeah. She's spooky hot, man. Can't believe you're even questioning Sylvia Plath's hotness. Well, she's right behind you now, so. Ooh, ooh, oh, I'm moving the wrong thing. Well, I want to see Sylvia. I want everybody to see Sylvia. Well, I actually. Let me move you slightly over, and you'll be right next to her. I was in my early 20s, so, you know, I would actually, no, no, 19 to 22, thereabouts, that's when I had this obsession. There, if you turn, if you turn, uh, if, you, can for kiss a... her, you can kiss her. 
You dated a chick that looked like Sylvia Plath, Jared? Oh, man, how'd you ever let her go? So uh, she wrote a, a semi-autobiographical, semi-autobiographical novel called The Bell Jar, and I slept with The Bell Jar underneath my pillow, saying, That's yeah. That's Sylvia really Plath is actually used, usually a poet that the that goth chicks like. Oh, because she's running. I, I think that I think the government's on to me. It, you think that the government is on to you. You you pose no threat to the government, Bodhi. I am the threat. I am the existential threat to all that is force. Okay. The only threat that you pose is probably to yourself, and I don't think the government really. Well, maybe it wants to keep you around for your organs. Oh, my organs are trash. There's no, there's no good there. Yeah, you have nice organs. Very nice organs. I have one nice organ, and it's underused. Yeah, that is uh, that's terrible. Oh, there. Oh, look, look, look. We're dating. Me and Sylvia. We're dating. You dating? Just, just turn and kiss her. Wait, hold on. See if I can get it. Yeah, that way. This way. Yep. Mwah. There you go. I just there you, go. Some... you, you just yes. kissed a dead person. No, I didn't. I kissed the imaginative, the imaginary live Sylvia. I'm not interested in the dead version of Sylvia. I'm only interested in the live version of Sylvia. She Fun looks, fact. She looks like she's got a really strong neck. Interesting factoid. Her son, Nicholas, oh, a couple of years ago. How'd she kill herself? He, he killed himself a couple of years ago. How'd she she kill killed herself. Uh, she put her head in a, uh oven and turned on the oven with the gas. And uh, I wrote a, a nine-page poem about it called The Western Winch. So, you baked your potato one dark night. You were feared, feared for your life, so you took it instead. That's all I remember from that poem. Yeah. So, so did she cook herself? No. She just the gas you know, killed her. Yeah, yeah, just the gas. And uh she put a towel in the She basically killed herself because she didn't want to be a mom and she just wanted to be an art a poet and she was being pulled into the world of you know, gender roles of mother, female, is the mother the provider of the kids and so therefore must end her life and totally sublimate her and self into taking care of the kids. And uh, she didn't like it. So she was a bad mother. She was a bad mother. and uh, but, but, but it didn't help that her husband, Ted Hughes, who left her, basically left her eye and dry and left her to take care of the kids on her own. And it was a dark, gloomy... I mean, she had a thought hit- about that before. She had a, she had a history of uh, suicide attempts. Oh. Uh, read her poem, Lazy La- Lady Lazarus. It's all about it. Uh, she wrote it in when she was uh, 30s. And she says, I have done it again one year in every 10. I manage it. I uh, can't remember the rest of it, but anyway. Wow. It's a great poem, actually. Read, read Lady Lazarus. It's a great poem. So we need to go to England. Yeah, we need to go to England. We need to go to Bodie and Saint... Paul. Bodie and Paul go to England. Bodie and Paul do England. We need to find St. Pancreas. <laughs> where, her, her, body, her body was taken to St. Pancreas Hospital. I can't remember where she was buried. St. But... Pancreas Hospital? Yeah, St. Pancreas Hospital. That's the name of it. St. Pancreas. There's a St. Pancreas. Literally. Literally a St. Pancreas Hospital. And Sylvia Plath killed her show just now. Yeah, so, she did. She did. We had like 10, 12 live listeners. Now we have five. No, Sylvia! One of, one of our viewers was dead, so... That counts. Statistics count. Clicks count. I don't care if you're dead. As long as you, cl- as long as you click on that ad, I don't care. Hey, that's how I the Democrats care. have ever won, so... Right. Oh, oh, Mr. Republican over here. Huh? I was I was I was a Republican and then I became a libertarian and then I said, "Oh my god, this is awful. Kill me." I was a Democrat and then I became a Republican and then I went right from Republican to, "Oh my god, this is awful. Please kill me." Yeah. <laughs> I skipped libertarian. Wow. I still got I got I still got Sylvia Plath there. You got Oh yeah. Uh, you, you know she's starting to grow on you. She's starting to grow on you, isn't she? I'm starting to yeah. That's I mean, she's, she's got a look. You, yeah, she definitely has a look. Ooh, yeah, ooh. you just look into her eyes and you just see pure on. Just Hold on. depths of depression. And Oh, she's she's uh, she was an intense woman. She was a perfectionist. and Wow, she was. Hold on, hold on. We got to end with this. Okay, ready? I'm going to be sending you 
a Sylvia Plath. Okay, Sylvia Plath reading. Yeah, I was po- a re- uh, yeah I was a Republican. Sylvia Plath reading her poem, Daddy. You get to hear her voice, and she sounds English, and I think she somewhat affected an English accent. Although, you know, she lived in England for quite a time, quite some time, but she was always English in sentiment. So anyway, play play this poem. Go ahead, play it. Her name it's called Daddy. Yeah, it's a great poem. It, you wouldn't think it, but yeah, it's a great poem. Really, um, really fast. I'm seriously spooked. You got to read. You got to play this poem for the audience. Daddy. You do not do, you do not do any more black shoe in which I have lived like a foot for 30 years, poor and white, barely daring to breathe or chew. Daddy, I have had to kill you. You died before I had time, marble heavy, a bag full of God, ghastly statue with one gray toe big as a Frisco seal, and a head in the freakish Atlantic where it pours bean green over blue in the waters off beautiful Nosset. I used to pray to recover you, ach du, in the German tongue in the Polish town, scraped flat by the roller of wars, wars, wars. But the name of the town is common. My Polak friend says there are a dozen or two. So I never could tell where you put your foot, your root. I never could talk to you. The tongue stuck in my jaw. It's stuck in a barbed wire snare. Eeh, 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 eeh. I could hardly speak. I thought every German was you. And the language obscene, an engine, an engine, chuffing me off like a Jew. A Jew to Dachau, Auschwitz, Belsen. I began to talk like a Jew. I think I may well be a Jew. The snows of the Tyrol, the clear beer of Vienna, are not very pure or true. With my gypsy ancestress and my weird luck and my Tarok pack and my Tarok pack, I may be a bit of a Jew. I have always been scared of you, with your Luftwaffe, your gobbledygoo, and your neat moustache and your Aryan eye, bright blue. Panzerman, Panzerman, oh you, not God but a swastika, so black no sky could squeak through. Every woman adores a fascist, the boot in the face, the brute, brute heart of a brute like you. You stand at the blackboard, Daddy, in the picture I have of you, a cleft in your chin instead of your foot. But no less a devil for that, no not any less the black man who bit my pretty red heart in two. I was ten when they buried you. At twenty I tried to die and get back, back, back to you. I thought even the bones would do. But they pulled me out of the sack and they stuck me together with glue. And then I knew what to do. I made a model of you, a man in black with a Mein Kampf look, and a love of the rack and the screw, and I said, I do, I do. So, Daddy, I'm finally through. The black telephone's off at the root, the voices just can't worm through. If I've killed one man, I've killed two. The vampire who said he was you, and drank my blood for a year, seven years, if you want to know. Daddy, you can lie back now. There's a stake in your fat black heart, and the villagers never liked you. They are dancing and stamping on you. They always knew it was you. Daddy, Daddy, you bastard, I'm through. Wow. Pretty awesome, isn't it? That was amazing. Yeah, you you should try to read all of Ariel. Her it's a it's a thick collection. It's thirty poems, something like that. Read her collection, Ariel. It pretty much it changed the the course of my life at that time. Wow. I had uh, I I thought that poetry. I hadn't been exposed to the world of of uh, I'll say way I understood it, contemporary poetry. I thought poetry was all rhyming and frou-frou and flowery and stupid crappy crap. And I was like, I went to the public library 
I went to the state library. And I was like, I'm looking for contemporary poetry. And they said, contemporary poetry's over there. I didn't know what contemporary meant. And I found Ariel. I pulled Ariel out. That's what I selected as I sat down. And I read that whole book straight through. And after it was done, I was like, I am this. This is me. <laughs> oh, I want this. I want to be this. I want to do this. <laughs> and really, it, it set the course for my life from 1987 to 2000. Wow. Good year. <laughs> and then so, so much of what I learned uh, that I began to try to understand was actually to try to understand her poetry. Yeah. She had all these references that I didn't understand, all these words that I didn't know. So you just basically went down her rabbit hole. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much went down her rabbit hole. And then she led me to her poets that, you know, that she followed and that you know I, I had to know those poets and then they led me places and yeah wow yes sylvia plath sylvia plath that's a great way to end it that is sylvia plath daddy daddy you bastard i'm through yeah well thank you everyone for watching thank, thank you everyone hope you had a good time remember to like share follow do whatever comment, comment subscribe. subscribe all the thingies that uh click the... click click on the support oh. us on our Go, gofundme account yeah we don't have one. Uh, but... We don't have one. <laughs> pretty soon I'm going to need one. Oh, yeah, we're all going to need one. Bodie needs to pay his bills. Bo Bodie got paid. Go Bodie got paid his bill. Bodie got paid his bill, man. You know what I'm saying, Good man? Night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night man. Everybody. It's been real. It's been real.